shining. It's an awesome day out. Just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of the flowers and talk to you about some things that are edible. That depending on where you're at, you can find these things in your yard. Now, you see around here, everyone knows about dandelions. Most people spray to get them killed. But if you look at the vitamin K and the different things they have in them, all the nutrients, the iron, um, it's like in the thousands. It's like crazy. You can do things from the dandelion root. Okay. Now, the smaller or younger the dandelion, the less bitter the taste is. There's a bunch of different ways to boil them. There's some videos on here you can check out, but that's a good, like, um, nice thing to know about a source that you can get and even in winter time you guys if you know where the dandelions are you can dig around in the snow you can still they're still there underneath that snow so even in times of cold you can find them and uh right here these this is called a plantain there's two kinds of plantains here that i'll show you and this one is a wide leaf or uh it's a skinnier one of the plantains and it grows like that. There's another one there. There's some out here. I'll show you. And then there are wide leaf plantains. All this stuff's edible. got some wide leaf plantains around back but see there's um, with the dandelions all this stuff was brought here when you trace it back and there's a bunch of different varieties see this is a dandelion and the uh, flower is good for your eyes and different things I told you guys about the red and the white clovers before they're both good for things and can be used in tea there's some white clovers there now here is the um, the wide leaf plantain. But they grow in a circle like that and they have a and they shoot up these little things out of it if you guys can see that. And uh, there's a bunch of seeds in the grass. You could make bread and stuff if you wanted out of it. All the stuff's edible guys. Like, um, it's just, a, and if you mix it in with a salad, or you mix it in with stuff, there's a million ways, and other vegetables and stuff that you can put together to cover up that bad taste. If you need to cleanse out, or your um, constipation, dandelions are great, you're definitely going to go to the bathroom. Um, I grew some stuff. This year I got some melons and stuff I could show you back here. What well, got some the beans going there. I got um, some zucchinis. The cucumbers did good, but then um, in the spot they're at, they kind of went. The pepper plants are still coming up. There's one on there. A couple back there. Two more coming. Look, there's Mr. Grasshopper. The elephant here got real big. Pretty huge. And then with the melons, see, I knew my melons wouldn't grow that big, and I had spinach going. I harvested that, and I'll show you a good plantain leaf. See right there? And you can also eat the leaves of uh, the wild violets and stuff. But always research do your stuff. But see, I put these up to where they're hanging. They're suspended. I got another one back there. There's two, and there's one hanging on the other side of the fence. Oh, um, I knew the seeds wasn't going to get so big. And if your soil is good, you can grow things in closer. I didn't use any uh, pesticides, no fertilizers, nothing, just water and sun. 
and plus they're on the side of the house here so they are only getting so much sun I got some beans back here but um, that's one way to grow perfect melons like this one's growing like this but um, if you would put a net or something under it and or a, even a strap I've seen there's some videos and you get a strong pull because melons and that stuff and cucumbers they want to climb they can do fine on the ground this was just something I did um, working with a little space in here so something you might want to think about and that's you know how like one side of a melon sometimes will have a, a mark on it from laying on the ground you have to get out there and turn it well that's what this one guy was doing on his he had a strap to support it so you know when it was getting big it didn't fall off this thing it needs something underneath it but he would just would move that strap every so often um, got some sunflowers here planted a few no. I got zucchinis I got off here. If you guys can see that one there. That one right there. Real one's going and then it's going right there. These flowers will turn into the fruit. And I got more melons back there hanging out. See and there's some more wide leaf plantains. And, uh, the more you learn about all your stuff, you guys see, I mean, it's all over, and people say, that's weeds, and find out where this stuff came from, and clovers, like I said, and then the four, don't forget, don't just use the flour, because this clovers has got iron in it, too, a lot of iron, something to think about, food prices, and, uh, everything out there, and eating organic when it's right in your backyard, I wouldn't eat nothing that's been sprayed with uh, lawn garbage poison, but something to think about. Plantains and stuff all in your backyard, all free. Love you guys. Bye.